5 to 40 to carry on a good Guineas festival for them both. They're off. A mile is the trip. Dark 30 just dwells a little bit in the purple and white diamonds and is towards the rear as the yellow jacket of Saxon King has bounced out well. The white colours are best turned out when a cadaver is close to him. The light blue of Hectic and the royal blue and white of Garib are up there as well as the a small field split into two groups. Also towards the right is Metal Merchant. Off to the left, the slow start of Dark 30 and the black and yellow colours of Legend of Leros are following through Cadavar and Saxon King. So they make their way now, coming past the five furlong pole and approaching the halfway stage. On the right is Hectic the Light Blue. He's the centre of that trio. On the right is Garib and she's almost level then with Metal Merchant, the darker green sleeves. Towards the left, Saxon King in yellow Cadavar in white and black, Legend of Leros in purple and white, Dark 30 is at the back of that group of runners. They are coming down to the three foul on marker and making their way on towards the bushes. And it continues to be maybe just Saxon King, the overall leader, to Hectic in second. Cadavar, one from the left, being ridden along at this stage. Extreme left is Dark 30 making progress. On the extreme right is Garib. More down the centre now, Metal Merchant, green sleeves on a yellow jacket, uh, yellow cap coming into it as well heading down into the dip and it's still Saxon King who has the advantage, Metal Merchant is in second place, Dark 30 behind those, Hectic is next behind Hectic is Garib, into the final foul on they come, Saxon King has been in front throughout the race still holding on here with William Buick and it is Saxon King who wins Dark 30 in second third it might just be Metal Merchant Garib was pretty close to him though Treble for Buick, Saxon King wins 5-1, to one. William Buick, Charlie Hills with a winner, J.J. Culhane and Clive and Stud, second Dark 30 at 12-1, to one, a length and a half in it at the line. Cadavar, no show from him today, however, Charlie Hills' form is, is taking a turn for the better. Yesterday was marked with Galler on 150-1, to one fourth in the 2000 Guinea. Cicero's gift, uh, an effortless winner, Goodwood. On the week, uh, on the Friday as well, and Saxon King, who goes well in these conditions, having shown this when winning by three quarters of length in a small field Haydock mile race at the back end of his two-year-old career on heavy ground. His three-year-old appearance has been very respectable, in fact, as well. He has picked up where he's left off with a win. A fine day's work for William Buick, and not finished yet, but three in the day. Uh, that was that was smart, wasn't it? Yeah, he's he's a lovely horse, yeah. and he showed last year when he won a Haydock at the back end that he handles. The testing conditions, and I think that was key today. You know, he likes he likes his own space, likes to run run along, and he was always very comfortable. You know, he handled the dip very well and flew down it and got got through the other end as well. So, no, very the testing ground yeah, important. Think. Yeah, juicing the ground is important. Too, it, yeah. If it was juicy, could he scrape into Britannia or something like that? I'd say he's 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 that type, you know, for sure. So, he's. Uh, I think there's a bit of improvement left in him. On point, it's on a blue point. They're flying, you're flying. He, he was good when it was only a three-runner race. Hard to gauge what you achieved. Very hard to gauge. Um, I'm pretty certain he wants better ground. Mm. Um, you know, his father certainly was yeah. a fast ground horse. So, but very pleased with what we saw today and mm. what I got for the great attitude. And he was a real pro. So, I'm delighted with him. Yeah, well done. Thank you. The final race was over a mile and two furlongs, a, a handicap to close the guard. Nine to four, Rathgar, 11 to four, Lion of War. They're off. A race with a mile and a quarter for the final race of the afternoon. The blue colours of high honour drops in towards the back of the field. The nose-banded filly, My Lion, goes through to have the early advantage. On the extreme left is Cool Party. On the extreme right is Lion of War. One from the right then is Rathgar, another dark jacket for him. Then Royal Rhyme, yellow colours, also won the best turned out award right in the mix as well. And high honour in the blue colours is just at the rear. So Kieran Fallon on my lion has the lead, a narrow one, be about uh, three parts of a length, maybe a length, to in the same ownership, Lion of War, running in second place. A half length away to Royal Rhyme, she's just got third. Then four and five, Cool Party on the extreme left, and a dark jacket of Rathgar towards the uh, right there, just about level by the looks of things, fourth and fifth places, and high honour William Buick in the Royal Blue is just at the rear of the field. They are now approaching the halfway stage, about to go past the five furlong marker, 
here. And my line continues to have the advantage. He's only ever been a slender leader, though. Run from the left, Royal Rhyme getting closer. One from the right is Line of War. Then Kulpadi and James Doyle on the extreme left in the red. On the extreme right, Ronan Whelan on Rathgar, just labouring a little bit at this stage. And the Royal Blue of High Honour continues to be at the back of the field. They're at the three furlong pole, are just about to get to it. And it's still my lion. She goes along in front here with the nose band to Royal Rhyme on the left in second position. Then comes High Honour from Rathgar with a line of war beginning to struggle. Cool party behind those, but they're well past the bushes now. And the yellow jacket of Royal Rhyme and Clifford Lee have come through to take it up and quickly go on by two lengths. The nose band of my line is in second position. Rathgar is behind those, challenging now for second. And then comes Cool Party, but it's Royal Rhyme extending the lead, going clear on the run towards the line. So Royal Rhyme and Clifford Lee, the winner. Rathgar in second. Third will be very close. It might just be high honour from Lion of War and Cool Party. Quite the performance from Royal Rhyme. 4 to 1 winner for Clifford Lee, Carl Burke, Sheikh Mohammed Abed, Al Maktoum. Second, the favourite Rathgar at 9 to 4. Five lengths to the winning margin. This step up and trip has been exactly what Royal Rhyme needed. It looked like it would suit on pedigree. Lope de Vega out of a King Mambo mare. And the way he'd been finishing off his races over a mile of the last twice suggested that when he was up into this kind of trip and against this kind of uh, calibre of horse, he'd be able to make more of an impact. And, and that's been exactly the case. He's been bumped into some nice types the last twice over a mile and he might have plenty more to offer. He's won this off 85. That's a thing of the past. There are your winners for the eight races on offer on Kitco 1000 Guineas Day. Adiar kicked off uh, Godolphin's uh, three winners on the card in the end. Six to five on favourite. Morge taking the big one for Asheen Murphy and Syed Bin Saroor. Charlie Appleby and William Buick getting doubles of their own with on point. Buick then had a treble on Saxon King in the penultimate. A running line as well marking a double for Asheen Murphy in the 